what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're back with some more sons of anarchy and i hope you guys are ready for the ride that's all i can say i hope you guys are ready for the guy for the ride my god my god has this series been good or what you know has this series been good or what you know what i'm saying um season four really good season man so we got you know clay is not going is not president anymore we got the new sheriff the new sheriff in town um Jax finally takes the president the presidency of the club and he's got to work with the feds he's got to work with the feds because the cia is working with the cartel and they they chose a side, so they gotta um, go against the other side. They're involved. Um, there's still secrets in the club that needs to be addressed. You know, there's still secrets. I don't like these secrets, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So I'm hoping that things will change going into the future for the show but i think all these secrets are just gonna keep bubbling and bubbling up uh, as we keep pushing them t to the side and i think um some things are gonna be said some things are not gonna be said but i don't know how Gemma is gonna feel now that tara and Jax is in the front seat I, I mean she's probably gonna feel pushed to the side but eventually i think she's going to come to terms i don't know what it is man but i feel like Gemma is the x factor in this show and i feel like she's like in some ways the main character of the show you get what i'm saying because she kind of in some ways control everything that's going on with the club um me very indirectly you know you know she's not sitting at the end of the table but she kind of controls everything and I think now she and Tara might butt heads because, you know, Tara told her straight up, no, he's mine. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see how things go. Anyways, guys, hope you guys hit that like button before you go and watch the episode. And of course, man, I'll see you guys for the review. And of course, guys, of course, Season 5, Episode 1 is a banger. I expected no less. Every season opener for this show has been unbelievable. Now, I think the thing that stands out the most in this episode is um, what happened with Tig. Because even though Tig is, you know, in some ways, you know, a side character, not any sort of you know main character but he is a part of the crew and it's interesting to follow his story in some ways because this is all being caused because people are not being truthful and people all these secrets you know because they want to protect their image or you know or they want to protect themselves or you know whatever the situation is is all these lies and you can see the 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 the, the repercussion the consequences of these lies that they just just people just not being truthful and you know things are not being out in the open you know everybody don't know what is going on it, it seems like everybody has a secret so it's, it, it, it's just all these things are happening because clay did not be truthful in the first place or he had plenty of time to tell Tig, what happened? He didn't. Tig went out, killed Pope's daughter by mistake, trying to get Leroy. And now, in retaliation, Pope kills his daughter. You know? And it just, now what? You know, it, it that's the question. Now what? Because you can't blame. You can't really look at Pope and be like, oh, he shouldn't have did that or whatever. I mean, that's you know if you want to put it like that that's how that's how that world works you know that's how that world works you know and it's this 
cycle of hatred that's gonna keep going now unless somebody cut it off Jax is trying tried to cut it off but it didn't go well you know what i mean they, they want to deal with it on a different tip they don't want to deal with it like in a in a way they they're the ones that that gave them up or you know send witnesses to point them out for the for the um for the murder and also for, for some other stuff right they are the ones that did that so that it, you know as they figure that they want to get them in jail right they want to get them in jail so they can off them in jail you know um so this is getting nuts i'm one of the things that i'm glad that they're doing is portraying because it you know last season i was like you know we could do without the niners not this season brother i want to know what's going on now with the niners because they've made them now they've pushed them to the forefront as the antagonist now against you know what i'm saying against the sons the sons so now i want to know because this dude reminds me of ghost in some ways like season one ghost from power that's who he reminds me of and they they they, they brought in some some um some heavy hitters actors and that's one of the things that sons do season after season is like more big time you know tv actors or move or, or you know what i'm saying or you know movies for movies right actors you know bring them in because they want to be a part of the series i can imagine when this series was going on it was hot because it seems like they bringing in some big names now they bringing in the big um you know big name black actors like dude that plays pope he's a big time actor um I don't like everything that he's been in to be honest i don't even know his name to be on to be honest with you i don't really know his name but i've watched him in a ton of stuff movies tv shows i've seen it i've seen him showed up every time he always plays i think the last time i saw i think we watched him in what was it i think the last time i don't remember what i was watching but i think the last time i saw him in something i saw him play uh, he was a like a corrupted police officer and then he was he was caught being dirty he was like under the thumb of someone and he was like and he was confronted and he, he um yes the rookie that show that's the last time I saw him in a TV show he was on the rookie um, it was an episode. I think it was actually the most recent season of The Rookie. I don't know if they canceled that show or whatever, but it's a really good, you know, cop show. It's kind of like a down-to-earth LAPD cop show. Um, really, really entertaining. You know what I'm saying? It's a really entertaining show. They kind of go into the real life of what cops go through and stuff like that. So I really enjoy that show. I'm not even going to front. You know, some people are probably going to say, why are you watching that, and, you, you know, with all this stuff going on with cops. I don't care. It's a TV show. You know what I'm saying? It's not real life. And it's nice to see certain things, too, from different perspectives sometimes because you really don't know. You really do not know. You just know from your experience and your interactions with police officers. You don't really know what they go through on a daily basis. You can guess, but you don't really know. And I think this kind of keeps it a lot more authentic i'm pretty sure it's a lot more stressful than what this tv show is portraying but i think this is kind of like it's a it, it, it's kind of i don't want to say it's 90 percent. i think it's probably around maybe 60 or 70 percent accurate as to what you know police officers go through on a daily basis and what they have to contend with so i think it's a really good show but I think that's the last time I saw him in a in a show, and to see him here in Sons of Anarchy, I know he's a great he's a great actor. Don't get me wrong. As I said, I don't like all the roles that he's been in, but you know it is what it is. But in any case, guys, um, great start to the season. Opie, I don't think Opie, as long as Clay is there, Opie is not going to beat it, and I think that's a very wise choice. Um, I would have loved to see him more. 
I'm pretty sure they're not they're not we're not gonna see him a lot in the in the series right now um, or for this season but we'll see how they do it um, Gemma with her new lover clay looking real pathetic it's gonna be a war it's gonna be a war this season and I'm ready for it you know they're gonna have to figure something out um, but we'll see what that is but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man sons of anarchy is on its way and ready to go appreciate you guys for tuning in as always I'm, a, I'm gonna try to have four episodes for you guys ready for Saturday so don't worry I'm gonna try to get those done tomorrow um, so you guys can have them okay so no worries there got a couple more things I got to do for today to react to um, to prepare for Saturday's launch of the new schedule so we'll see how things go anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to hit the like button if you have not done so already Please comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this first episode of Sons of Anarchy, man. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.